You know, I was reading about the animal at home today about how the Queen of Sheba, she went on 1,500 miles when she heard about Solomon and uh, the wisdom that he had. She was so hungry for the deeper things of God that it was in her soul, in her question, that she was willing to pack up a huge caravan and head out to Israel so she could uh, ask him the questions that she'd made up. She wasn't trying to trap him like the Sadducees and Pharisees. She was hungry for truth. When she got there, finally, um, the wisdom he had took her breath away. Yet the Bible says, a greater than Solomon has come. And think about it here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Through his death and the cross, that curtain ran. You and I can come in under this new covenant of our Savior. And we can make our petitions known, our dreams. It's just absolutely amazing. And you know, he said she was going to rise up in the last day. And those Pharisees that turned him down, she's going to set a judgment over him. Because the greater than Solomon had come. Just think of it now. So we've come to worship the one that made Solomon. Mm -hmm. gave him that wisdom, aren't we? Yes, sir. So just think of it. And we prayed for this uh, mother here just recently, had this baby, her leg is swelled terribly. And let's just be believing like we prayed that it's going to go, that flood on there. So yes. Whatever your problem is tonight, can be taken care of. Because the greater than Solomon is here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Father, we thank you. Yes. We thank you, Lord. You paid such a debt that give us that opportunity to come into this place tonight to love you with all of our heart. And we just surrender to you. We're thankful for Duane and his talent, and he's using it for you, and, and uh, Blaine and Molly that's here, and these ministers. We're thankful for them. And we just want to encourage you. We're the body of Christ. We come together to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I've asked my wife to sing. Can be seated. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't it great to be in God's presence? Amen. Okay, five of you. Amen. Uh, ain't it great to be in God's presence tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I, I mean, Hallelujah. it just blesses my heart. Yeah. To see people just come up and give it everything they got. And, uh, you know, I don't have to do anything. Amen. I mean, God can just, God moves and he can do it without me. Amen. I just want to be where he wants me to be. Saying what he wants me to say and doing what he wants me to do. But when I see people reaching out to Jesus, it's like the young lady back here in the back tonight. Amen. She knew she had to come someplace where she could be touched by Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. That's true. And uh, Praise you, Jesus. Pastor, you bless me. Praise you, Jesus. Both of you, Miss Murphy, y'all, y'all bless my heart just then. Thank you. That's for that. You bless us too, Duane. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. Being, uh, Hallelujah. I just want to worship. Praise you. Is that Jesus. okay with y'all? Glory to God. Amen. I'm going to get my friends up here in just a minute and sing some songs. Thank I, you, Holy I just want God to have his way. Amen. That's what it's all about for me. And, uh... I feel like there's some chains that need to be broken tonight. And if you'll just trust God tonight, amen, he'll break those bondages that are holding you back. He'll break those chains that are holding you down. If you'll just turn loose and give him control, it'll change your life. Amen. You've been walking the same old road. Got pain. 
Thank you. 
It's great to have such talent. Amen. Amen. I get to accompany it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get my friends up here in just a moment. Uh, this song's been on my heart all day. And uh, I'm going to get them up here in just a minute. Amen. When I heard this song the first time, I just, I just weeped. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for that day. Amen. Amen. Where I get to see Jesus face to face.
pastors of the church in the dirt over in Homedale. Hallelujah. We're glad to have them here with us tonight. Now I know. Praise the Lord that the Holy Spirit's with us right here tonight. Holy Spirit's with us here tonight. You know that. Praise the Lord, you're a born again Christian. Holy Spirit lives in you. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. There's a spirit within, and there's a spirit upon you. And I know the Holy Spirit's going to be here tonight upon you, but I'm going to sing a little song. We're going to do a little song here. It's talking about that very thing. Anyway, let's, we're going to have fun. We're just going to praise the Lord. Sit here 
definition so and uh, and I may do some of this anyways I don't know we'll just see what God wants to do amen? amen Father I just ask you Lord just to guide me tonight and 
Let your spirit have free reign in here tonight, Lord. Just hush me up if it's what it takes, Lord. Lord, let them hear you, not me. Amen. Let them receive something in their spirit, man, tonight, Lord, that when they walk out of here, they'll know they've been in your presence. Amen, amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Amen. amen. I wanted to talk to you tonight about running your race, but I may not completely do all of that tonight. Revival. It's what's on the side of the building out there. Amen? Amen. Revival center. That means that revival could center right out of Parma, Amen. Idaho. Yep. Amen. 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 And there could be a great Hallelujah. awakening yes. yeah. of the church, not just us, but I mean, I mean, not just people, but the church. Amen. Because Amen. in these last days, the church needs to wake up. Amen. 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 I said the church needs to wake up and we need to step up. Amen. 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 And so revival, it means an improvement in the condition or strength of something. An instance of something being becoming popular. <laughs> revivals used to be popular, amen? Yeah. Yeah. amen. When, when they said we're having revival, the church jumped up and run the aisles, amen? Yeah. 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 Now you can't even get them to show up. Amen. That is true. <laughs> amen. Yeah. It's becoming popular, active, or important again. It's becoming important again. And I'm grateful that churches are looking to have revival meetings. I, I, you know, you'd be surprised how many people, when you say we're having revival, and I say, what's that? That's true. That's true. Amen? I was over in Missouri over there in, in the hotel in Fulton, Missouri, where I was staying. I was uh, getting my message prepared and for the, you know, the night and... I, I had them run it out for me because their printer wasn't working, and so I handed the, the, the flash drive to the little gal behind the counter, and I said, I'm going to be preaching this tonight at Revival. And she said, what? I said, what's that? And I said, well, a lot of people call them a series of meetings <laughs> where you have several meetings in a week. Churches are finally coming back around to doing Sunday to Sunday. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I haven't seen that in a long time. Me either. Amen. Amen. And I, and I was so glad with Pastor Floyd. You know, we were talking on the phone the other day, and he and I both got in the Holy Ghost, and 30 minutes later we began to talk, and he said, you know, I'm thinking we might just go a couple extra nights. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yeah, I, want God to I want God to move too. Amen. I, I just... Uh, I don't have to do anything. We can worship. Yeah. We can praise Him. Yep. We can sing praises to Him. Amen. Yeah. And just let His Spirit rain down in this place. That's what I'm looking for. God's anointing. God's flow. God's mercy. God's love. God's power. Filling this house. Filling this room. Amen. Filling our hearts. Filling our minds. Filling everything about us and all around us. And then when you walk in, you're walking in the cloud that God has poured down into the building. Amen. Amen. A new production of an old play. Amen? Amen? It's what revival means. Or a similar work. An old production. you got to make such a production to have revival. All the lights and all the smoke and all the big name preachers and singers and all that kind of stuff. I'm just a little nobody. But I know somebody. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And that somebody can change your life. Yeah. Not me, Wayne, but that somebody. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. What did I do with my water? I said it right here. 
You're supposed to turn the camera away. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me etiquette before we started this. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> In John 14, 12, in the New King James, it says, Most assuredly, I like that word, assuredly. Yep. Assuredly. Yeah. Amen. That's the way I like to say it. Look at your neighbor and say, assuredly. 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 Okay. Y'all caught that pretty good. <laughs> I say to you, he who believes in me and the works that I do will do also and greater works than these he will do because of I go to my Father. Yes. Amen? Yes. Increase spiritual uh, interest and in renewal in life of church and congregation or society with a local, national, or global effect. Amen? Amen? A restoration of the church itself to a vital and fervent relationship with God after a period of moral decline. We've been in a moral decline, haven't we? Amen. Now, so we're talking about the definition of revival. And Jesus said most assuredly. Amen? Amen? You will do greater things than he did. Amen. Because he leaves us with a comforter. He leaves us with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody. Amen. I mean, Woo! there you go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Acts chapter 3. <coughs> verse number 19 in the Amplified reads like this. So repent. Change your mind and purpose. Turn around and return to God. In parentheses. That your sins may be erased. Amen. In parentheses, blotted out, wiped clean. Woo. Amen. 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 That times of refreshing, of recovering from the effects of heat, of reviving with fresh air, may come from the presence of the Lord. Amen. Woo. Amen. Amen. That's what what's refreshing me. It means recovery of breath. Revival. Restore. Isaiah 42, 22. You can write that down. Recover means to regain or retaking or obtaining possession of what was taken or stolen. Woo, hallelujah. What's the enemy come to do? Steal, kill, destroy. Still kill and destroy, right? Yep. Is that what the enemy comes to do? Yep. He comes to divide you. If he can divide your home, he's done his job. Amen? Amen. If you can't stand up and say, no, you don't, go right back to the pits of hell where you came from. Yep. Get out of my face. Amen. Yep. Amen. Amen. Revive, it means to restore to life. My, my, my. Regain life. What did we talk about last night? We talked about he brought life to our mortal bodies. Yep. Amen? Amen. God, I mean, did y'all take a sleeping pill before you came tonight or something or what? Woo! Amen. We need strength. We need new energy. We need to be fired up. Amen. We need to get a hold of the things that God's trying to bring down to us. And we got to be ready. Amen. Because we, the times are now that we have got to be ready. Amen. They're all around us. Yep. That's right. Amen. 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 John chapter 20. I'm going to go ahead, I think. I'll give you a moment to get there.
Everybody okay? John chapter 20, verse 1. You have to run after your destiny. Amen. Don't stroll, don't walk, but run. Yep. Amen? Amen. Jesus is your destiny. In verse 1, it says, Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went up to the tomb early. And that, that would knock me out of the park right there. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> went up early and while it was still dark. And I, now I might be just laying down while it was still dark, you know. But anyways. While it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. She was coming to pay her respects. Yeah. Amen? Because she loved Jesus. who brought, and, and that's what brought them down to the tomb. Amen? It was their love that caused them to bring their spices and stuff that would, that would kill the smell of death. That when they walked into the tomb, they would smell their spices and wouldn't smell the dead body. Right. Yeah. Amen. That's what she was doing. But you know... There's places in our lives that smell. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right now it stinks that the virus is hindering the world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right now it stinks that people are getting laid off. Yeah. Right now it, it just happened that the market's down. Amen? Yeah. But what are you bringing into the place that stinks? Christ. What are you hanging on into your life in your life that stinks? Amen. Okay, man, it got quiet in here. Lord of mercy, I didn't think it was that hard of preaching, but are you bringing more stink? Are you bringing stinking thinking? Stinking attitude? Amen or on me? Bringing love, bringing love and joy. Okay. Amen. Stinking words. I mean, every time you say, I can't. Every time you say, I can't, what you're saying to God is He can't do it. Amen. You're saying to Him that, that He hasn't got the strength to fix Amen. what you got. Amen. I got this. I don't need it. I, I don't, I'm okay. I'll eat that bowl of ice cream, go home and take an extra shot because that was me. That didn't fix it. Yeah. My sugar just kept going up and up. Next thing you know, it's 400. My doctor was trying to get me into the hospital. I would have to be in Missouri. <laughs> that was just a month ago. Amen? Amen? But I had to take back my life. Yes. I had to stand on the authority with Jesus and say, God, I'm going to do my part. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, but I need you to do your part and help me. Amen? Amen. You think it's easy to sit beside somebody eating a big old chicken fried steak and french fries and me eating a lettuce? Nope. No. No. Huh? You, you think it's easy to watch somebody eat a big old a chocolate fudge sundae and me, me sitting there going twiddling my thumbs? You think that's easy? Nope. No, it's not easy. It, had, it took God to help me keep my mindset that, hey, I'm taking my life back. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and that's what it's talking about in Philippians 4. It says, no, not, to, not that I speak in regard uh, to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am yes. to be content. Content. I know how to abase and I know how to abound. Yes. Everywhere in all things I have learned both to be full. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Full. I'll get it out here in a minute. And to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. But I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And because of this, 
My God. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, My God. My, my God. God. Hallelujah. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Woo! Woo! Come on, somebody. That ought to fire you up right there. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Amen. But you see, those women went up there to... to uh, see Jesus, you know, and they just pay their respects, you know. But when they got to the tomb, uh, things weren't like she thought it was going to be. Amen? Amen? The stone was rolled away, and the master was gone. Yes. Wow. In verse number two through four, <clears throat> said she ran and came to Simon Peter. That's what I'd have been doing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. She ran to Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and he said to them, They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where, where they have laid him. And Peter therefore went out, and the other disciple were going to the tomb. Amen. Amen. And they were running up the hill to get to the to get to the tomb. Amen. Yep. And when they and when they were on running, the other disciple outran Peter. Amen. Yeah. Lots of times when you start out a race with somebody, they may they may outrun you. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay in your race. Yes. You got to stay where God's got you. Yeah. You got to stay where God's told you to be. Mm -hmm. And you got to keep running as the best that you can. Amen. 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 Somebody might outrun you, get ahead of you, and, and make it stronger in you than you in the Word or whatever. Amen. Amen. Mary ran because what she knew, what she saw. <clears throat> Peter and John ran because of what they heard. Yeah. Amen? Amen. What is it? What happens when you hear something? Huh? You put a check on it. Hang on, I gotta give me some water. That fan's kind of making the horse. There. You're out of the picture. <laughs> fan around the room. Glory to God. Okay. A good. That's a good cameraman right there. <laughs> but they started out together, but one out around the other. Amen. It's okay. It's okay that someone outruns you. Yvonne, good to see you tonight. Thank you. Good to be here. Amen. You feeling better tonight? Yes. Yes. Amen. Colossians 3 says this right here. Verse 23 says, Whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Amen? Amen. Not to men. What does that mean? Well, who are you trying to please? God. Huh? Who are you trying to please? God. <laughs> Amen. I'm trying to please my heavenly Father. Amen. But you know, when when people saw Mary Magdalene, you know that they, they knew that she had a lot of them knew that she had demons cast out of her, and that Jesus saved her. So she runs, Amen, because of her love for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. amen. <laughs> Hebrews thirteen five says, "For He, God Himself, said." I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not, I will not in any decree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down. Relax my hold on you, assuredly not. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. How many promises do you need? One. There's 7,437 of them in the Word of God. Amen? 
And so you think about that one for a minute. Surely there's somewhere you can hang your hat, Amen. so to speak. Yeah. Surely out of 7,000 promises, you can find one that would really speak to you. Amen. Yeah. If the one where he gave his life on an old rugged cross wasn't enough, Amen. just like the one I shared last night, the battle is not yours. Yes, that's right. correct. For He is with you. Amen? Amen. I don't know if I'm going to get through with this tonight. You know, I mean, running in the human form, running is kind of like a, a competition, you know? Yep. I mean, you know, there was always that one rebellious one. In high school. Y'all can't quit running until the last one makes so many laps. And guess who was the one that's always waiting on? <laughs> Amen. Amen. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't either. Our coach dry. <laughs> Excuse me. Our, our coach went down uh down the road, he said it was three miles, but I think it was five. <laughs> Big major thoroughfare through East Texas, Highway 259, goes all the way up to Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and uh, it pretty much ends right there at Nacogdoches on the south end. But up there on Highway 259, just north of Nacogdoches, seven miles, is a little school called Central Heights. It's where I went to school. And north of that was what they call the Cushion Y, which is Highway 204. Y'all can look at all this later if you want to on your maps. But they called it the Cushion Y. So the coach went down to the Cushion Y and pulled in the little rest area there and dropped us off. He said, all right, y'all got uh, 50 minutes to get back to the school before the buses leave. I said, how far is that, coach? He said, about three miles. <laughs> so I'm kind of hoofing it along there. I'm just, <sighs> I made it to the first driveway, you know, on the side of the road there, about 100 yards. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> he comes on, there, 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 come on, let's go. So all the, all the boys was mad at me because they couldn't get dressed and go home until I got back. So some of them made it all the way to school and doubled back and run with me back. Amen? That was good. Yeah. And they helped me get back. Right. Hallelujah. They didn't yeah. like me for that. <laughs> but I was always that guy. You see, there's always going to be somebody that's slower than you. Don't be strolling. That's what that's what the coach told me. He said, pick it up, pick it up. We gotta pick up the pace, church. Amen. Amen. You have to run. Amen. Amen. We have to run to our destiny. We have to run for our destiny. Amen. Amen. When you run after your destiny, uh, you will distance yourself from your history. Did you catch that one? Mm -hmm. You will distance yourself from your history. That's why it's always hard for an evangelist or preacher to be in his hometown. Amen. <laughs> we have to run. Amen. First Corinthians 9 in the Amplified says it like this. Do you not know that in a race all the runners compete? But only one receives the prize. So run your race that you may hold, may lay hold of the prize and make it yours. Amen. 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 Now every athlete who does who goes into training conducts himself temporarily and restricts himself in all things. Yeah. They do it to win. Amen. 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 They do it to win. 
They do it to, to win that wreath, to win that trophy, to get the accolades. When I was in country music, that's what I was after was those accolades. Yeah. You know? Nominated Bell Vocus of the Year. Country music, 1995. I mean, that was a pretty good accomplishment, you know? George Strait won it, you know? But my name got called out with it. Mark Chestnut. Amen? But that's what I was looking for when I first got into Christian country music. I didn't know what direction I was going to go. I didn't know where I was going, what I was going to do. All I was after was bookings. That's the honest truth. But God has since showed me. I went to a conference. That's where I met Miss Molly the first time. And I got on my face because at the end of it, not one pastor asked me to come out of the hundreds that was there. And I said, what have I got to do? I said, I thought you called me into this. He said, why don't you quit trying to let me do it? Amen? Amen. So I began to run my race just following Jesus. I said, okay, I'll worship you wherever I go, do whatever. I don't care about the, I don't I don't care about the money. Yeah. I mean, I got the habit to go down the road, but hey, I'll get there. Amen. 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 I don't have to worry about it because God supplies it. Amen. 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 We are redeemed to run. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, we're redeemed to run. 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 Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. We're going to please God. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to have time to get through this tonight. Man, I didn't realize I had this much. It's amazing when you have lots of time to just study and get ready. Amen. Amen. How do we please God? By faith. Yep. Hebrews 11.6 says, Without faith it's impossible to please God. Amen? Amen. Yes. We're trying to... First Corinthians 12 says this, says, But now God has set the members, each one of them in the body, Amen. just as he pleased. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Being connected with the right people makes a difference. Yep. Amen? Amen? Being connected with the right people makes a difference. Yep. Hallelujah! Who are you connected with here tonight? Huh? I'm not going to get finished with this tonight. Jesus. Praise the Lord. You have a race to run. Amen? Amen. What is your race? Have you asked God, what's my, what's my part? What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? How, what church am I supposed to be in? Have you asked God that? Yes. He said in Revelation, I'm going to close with this right here. Regardless of how much you struggle, regardless of what you're going through, God will wipe away every tear, verse number four, from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have 
passed away. Yep. Amen? Amen. Amen. The former things, that pain that you walked in the door with tonight, that heartache that you that you had because of a lost loved one, that heart, that broken heart because you had a bad relationship, that that broken heart that you don't understand why you have it because what I've been saying to you tonight doesn't make sense because you don't know Jesus. You've never asked Him into your heart. Maybe one of those things is why your heart is feeling hurt and pain right now. Maybe your mind has been clouded and, and the enemy has lied to you and told you that you can't do this or you can't do that. You don't need to be there. You don't need to be with them. Amen. Because He'll take away all of that. Amen. I'm talking about Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about Jesus. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, I... I'm just going to move out of the way. You just have your way in here tonight. Holy Spirit, come. In this place, Father. You're welcome. You're welcome in our midst. Father, I just... Uh, hope people get charged up and excited about Jesus tonight, Father. I just, running the race takes endurance. And I want to endure to the end. And I want to see you face to face. Amen. And Father, Lord, if there's anyone in here tonight, or anybody out there listening, if there's anyone that's never asked Jesus into your heart, I said to those out there, in Facebook, video, land, or whatever it is, wherever it's going to. Everywhere. If you've never asked Jesus, just type the words in, I need Jesus, and, and a way to contact you, and we'll contact you. Amen? And somebody will talk to you. Yeah. If someone out there tonight, right here in this service tonight, has never asked Jesus into your heart, and would like to do that, Let's just get this thing started off on the right foot this week and so you can be in the place where everybody else is and, and receive that love of Jesus like you've never had. Amen. So tonight, is there anybody in here that says, I've never asked him into my heart? Anybody? 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 I don't want to miss you. So hold them up long enough I can get around the room. Anybody? So I've never asked... Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, Lord, even those out there watching us right now, just raise your hand up right now and just say, I just I need Jesus and I want Him in my heart. And I ask Him to forgive me of my sins. And Lord, just take me right now where I am right now and let me walk with you, talk with you, and just clean my life up. Because you'll never get clean enough to come to Jesus. I had a 62-year-old man over in Missouri who told me, he said, he said, I'm going to get cleaned up and I'll give my heart and life to Jesus. The next day he called the pastor and he said, I can't take it no more. <laughs> Amen. And gave his heart to Jesus. Yeah, Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So I pray that tonight you don't sleep. <laughs> That God is working on you so hard. Say it's time to get things right with Jesus so you can spend out the rest of this life and spend eternity with Him. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift everybody up tonight. Every need, every need in this house, Father Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, be met whether it be finances, whether it be physical strength, whether it be uh, their body needs healing, 
their mind refreshed, restored mm -hmm. unto what they was in their youth. Father, Lord, write down the name of Jesus, everybody in here tonight. Get some rest tonight, everybody. Rest in the Lord and just ask God tonight when you lay down. Say, God, give me that overwhelming peace and rest in you tonight. Amen. That when you close your eyes, it'll be like, like you're laying on a cloud, laying in His arms. And when you wake up, be refreshed. Amen. That's what revival's all about, being refreshed. Because Christians just get beat so much, lots of times beat down because of what they do, what they say. You can't say this or that. They get beat up. Father, I know. So I, they need your strength tonight, Father. Lord, we come back in here tomorrow night on fire for you. Father, I just give you all the praise and all the glory, Father, Lord. If there's a healing in here that needs to take place, we'll pray for you. Whatever it is tonight, get it done. Amen? Let God have the victory, and, and you have the victory through God. And, and Father, right now in the name of Jesus, and everybody said? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus some praise. Amen? Praise Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. I'm going to get y'all fired up yet. Amen. I come from the Bible now. And, and, and they shout down there. I mean, and uh, there ain't no reason why you can't either. There ain't no reason why you can't be excited about Jesus. Amen. There ain't no reason why you can't. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's why you can't. I mean, that's why I stand in the middle of, of your grocery store. Whatever. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. Amen. Be surprised who you'll touch. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Ask him this question. Say, say this first. Say, can I ask you a question? And nine times out of ten, as nice as Indi Idaho uh, people are, <clears throat> unless they're from California. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's from California. Oh, i got to be careful. <laughs> I'm staying with some he transplant. Some from yeah, he, saved, he saved some people from California. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to encourage you tonight. You know, just go out in the highways and the byways at the gas pumps, whatever, and just ask them. Has anybody told you Jesus loves you today? Yeah. He did. Amen? Yeah. But as anybody you talk to, because I, I did a revival not too long ago with a friend of mine, and we was racing in the stores and get to the clerks first and ask him, see who, who, if anybody asked him, yeah, that guy right there did. Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? Amen. And, and it's amazing to see the smile on their face. Amen? And just think what it'll do for you. You got to tell somebody Jesus loves them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Father, again, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everybody coming out tonight. I give you all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Father, Lord, for everything that took place in here tonight. We're going to run our race. Amen. Somebody might get there before we do, but we're going to get there. Yep. And Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus tonight, let them be strengthened tonight and receive a blessing like they never thought they ever could. Amen. Press down and shaking and overflowing. Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Give Jesus some praise. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah.
But anyway, he said he was going to go into India to preach, and his daughter was going to go with him. And she said, Dad, how many, how many people you think is going to be there? He said, have you ever been there before? And he says, no, not really. But God had humbled him a few days before because he said he had a what he called a God dream. And in his dream, he saw all these idols. And he said, oh, I know what those are. He said, those Hindus where I'm going, they have a lot of, a lot of idols they worship. But he said when God showed him those idols, when they turned around and faced him, they all had his name on them. Oh, on them. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. And he said, for seven days I was on my face, huh? repenting, wow. humbling myself before God. I was sharing with Dwayne a little bit about it. He said, when we got there, <coughs> there might have been 25 or 30,000. We had it set up, PA system, for a million. And... Uh, he said, I got up there to speak, and the Lord told me, the only thing I want you to say, I want you to say, Jesus sees. Yeah. And he said, I said that, and I said a few more words. And then he said, say it again. He said, I said, Jesus sees. And he said, I probably said a few more words. And he said it the third time. He said, pretty soon, they come up and yank the mic, take the mic away from me. He said, how would you like to have somebody do that when you're preaching? Just come up and take the, take the mic away from you right there in front of all that crowd. But he said, I'd already been humbled. And he said, I'd, I'd done what the Holy Ghost told me to do. Pretty soon, what had happened was, there was a Hindu doctor brought some blind children to this meeting. He was a blind children's doctor. Hindu. He said, the first time you said Jesus sees, one of those little girls got healed. Amen. He said, the next time, another one got healed. He said, the third time you said it, he healed the third one, and he said, they started seeing for the first time, and they started screaming and jumping and dancing. Praise God. And so, when they saw that power of God, he said the next morning he couldn't even get out of his place where he was staying, and they were lined up. There was over a million of them. Wow. And he said they were wanting me to bless them and pray for them as the Spirit of God was moving. And you know, I know that God is moving through through the whole country. I believe I'm believing for a, a world awakening. Seems like I have a burden on my heart, don't you, for the whole world, Amen. Yeah. for every single person. <clears throat> I'm thankful that Dwayne called and wanted to come to Parma. You know, we're we're kind of on this side of the tracks. We're not anything. We're not big. We're we're. But we know this. God has been here. Yes. God is, yeah. here. God is here. Yeah. And. Uh, we're believing for great things, even though Amen. we're not a big congregation. We're believing for great Amen. things. Because we've got a great God, don't we? Amen. 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 Uh, Lynn, come, would you? And I'll take over. David, would you? I felt... When Duane was praying for people last night, I felt the tenderness of the Holy Ghost. And I want you to know that, Duane. We love you. We're thankful you come, come to Parma. Anyway, David, pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father, for sending me. Lord, the evangelist. Lord, our eyes will be open, our hearts will be open to receive what you have for us in this man, Father. We thank you for sending Yeah. Now, Lord, we just ask that the people would give to bless him. Yeah. Father, you know, it's, it's tough going down this road. And he 
needs the money. So, Lord, let this yes. let this give over abundance in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 so thankful for each one of your people and I know you've spoken to my heart I sometimes I hold back I I don't want to be too bold and I I've struggled with that over I'm not really I can say things I can get I guess bold but you've told me to love your people and you've told me to make an extra effort to reach out I want to obey you, Lord. I want to, I want to do what you want me to do. I'm not a young man anymore. I have to realize that my strength is not like it used to be. I feel like I've rounded the last bend. And you've told me to drop off every weight. Every weight. Like a runner. Running a race like our brother was talking about. And I know, Lord God, that we cannot live this life unless you help us Amen. and fill yes. us with the yes. power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Nothing can wash our sins away but your precious blood. Yes. And we must confess our sins and be willing to forsake them, oh God. We must learn to hate what you hate and love what you love. That's what you've been teaching me. And I'm thankful for it. And I pray for every single one that's here tonight, oh God, that there will be such a good shaking. I pray this church will shake tomorrow night, oh God. And uh, with your presence, oh God, I pray. Amen. I'm thankful this couple loves this baby. And they have decided to keep that baby. Yes and raise that baby yes. and I'm so proud of them and thank you for them they're trying to do what's right Lord and I'm holding them up be with us now as we go out of this place and may we all just love one another and fellowship in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Amen.